episode, we're going to look at episode 138, where we did our authentication with the JSON web tokens, and we also had a products index where we could pull out all the different products. In this episode, we're going to look at doing an API versioning, and there's several different ways that you can do an API version, and there's a lot of controversy about what way is the best way to do them. One way is to include the version number in the URI. Another way is to modify the accept header. And another way is to use a custom request header. Well, I ultimately think that it should be left to your team to decide on how you want the API to work and how you want to version it. I do think that there are some pros and cons of each. So with versioning within the URI, one benefit is that it's pretty clear on what API version that you're using just at a glance of the URI. And that's the type that we're going to look at first in this episode. And then the second type that we're going to look at is within the accept header. And within the accept header, instead of having just a application JSON, and while some think that this is better, I'm a little indifferent on which way I actually prefer, but I do find myself using the accept header a bit more often. And that's the second scenario that we're going to look at in this episode. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.